Tonight, only on 11 Alive, a Metro Atlanta father is speaking with us more than five years after his son died in a college hazing incident. The family recently received a multi-million dollar settlement. For us, it's about sending a message to the country just how dangerous hazing is. Max Groover graduated from Blessed Trinity High School in Roswell before enrolling at LSU. Tonight, 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn spoke with Stephen Groover, Max's father. He's live for us this evening in downtown Atlanta with this story. Cody. Jennifer, the Groovers tell me this settlement is an end to a chapter, but their fight to prevent this from happening to another family is far from over. In 2021, the Max Groover Act was signed into law by Governor Kemp, but under it, you can only be charged with a misdemeanor. And right now, the Groovers are working with state legislators here behind me to try and create felony hazing laws in Georgia. Every day, I think about my son. Max Groover was just 18 years old. Max was such a great kid. You know, he, he made friends very quickly. He really cared about everyone that he met. A freshman at Louisiana State University. He loved LSU. He loved every aspect of it. On September 13th, 2017, inside the Phi Delta Theta House, Max and other pledges showed up for Bible study, a drinking game where they were forced to chug 190 proof liquor if they couldn't answer questions about the fraternity or were unable to recite the Greek alphabet. Everyone needs to understand just how dangerous hazing is and particularly when you mix um, alcohol and hazing together. Max's body was found the next morning. His blood alcohol level was six times the legal limit. You know, if, if anybody would have just called 911 in that room that night, uh, Max could, his life could have been saved. A decision that forever changed so many lives. And it's not just our family, it's it's friends, it's it's the, the, the hazers, um, it's the pledges that were there that night. The ripple effect just goes far and wide. No pain is as deep for a parent than losing a child. It's, it's the hardest thing you can imagine. The Groovers hope their story will stop hazing or at least encourage someone to do what no one did for their son, Max. I go and see him at the gravesite every Friday um, for, for five years and I'll continue to do it for the rest of my life. Um, he, he's still with us in spirit, obviously. Um, but yeah, we, we just miss him. A former LSU student was uh, found guilty of negligent homicide and served two and a half years in prison. Now, the Groovers went on to create the Max Groover Foundation. Stephen tells me his wife goes around the country to colleges and universities to speak with students about how to recognize hazing, talk about the dangers, and how to report it. He tells me the next step is taking their message into high schools across the country.